Ooh, so you bought a brand new MacBook Pro. Well, guess what? Here's five things that you might not have known that it can do. And while we're finding out about all sorts of cool tips and tricks, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, iFixit. Number one, and the thing that I think is the coolest new update in Mac OS Ventura, which comes with all new MacBooks, uh, is the ability to now unsend email. Maybe you forgot to actually type the email in because you were so busy about the attachment. Well, now Mac OS lets you unsend it for up to 30 seconds. So here's how you actually do it. You go to Mail, Settings, composing and you can undo send delay you can turn it off so that you don't do it at all or you can do it up to 30 seconds i like having a thought of oh crap my probably should not have sent that uh, so i like having this set at 30 seconds and then as you can see so we'll send a new email we'll send a new email to that to that rascally character gary over at the everydaydad.net test test so we send it and then you see right down here that you get 30 seconds to bring it right back. And then not only does it bring it right back, it opens it back up for you so you can make any corrections that you need to make because obviously you needed to undo because, oh crap, I totally forgot to send it to the right people. Another cool thing that you can do in mail, this is not exactly one of the tips for today, but one of the cool things is you can now schedule email as well. So we're still on the email pane here. Instead of sending attachments, all the other stuff that you used to be able to do, now there's a little area you can click here and you can choose when to actually send the mail. I try to not overwhelm folks' inboxes because we're all busy, right? Our inboxes constantly fill up. I mean, look, I've got 87,000 emails in my inbox right now, and this is the brand new computer. Ooh, okay, and we're back in the regular studio too. So the next thing I wanna show you that your brand new MacBook can do is called Continuity Camera. The MacBook comes with a web camera, and it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. There's only so much you can do with a webcam that fits into a teeny little space like that. Well, now you can connect your iPhone almost magically to your MacBook and get recorded recording that way. You might need some little accessory. We talked about this in the MacBook accessory videos. This is just a little mount that lets your phone sit on the computer. You need to make sure you've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled on your MacBook, just like if you were using AirDrop. You take your phone, it's locked, you got your little mount on here, you just set it right above your camera. We can then go, you use any of your program, whether it be Teams, something like that. I'm just gonna show you through setting a movie. And now you can see, you can pick between the two. Right now we've got it set to the Face ID camera built into the computer, or we just click iPhone camera. Do you hear that ding, ding, ding? That means that it is now connected to your phone, which check it out. Man, how sweet. I think this is such a great idea because the cameras inside iPhones are wildly powerful. And check this out. This is how good it looks to use your iPhone as your web camera for your MacBook. I think it, this is just one of the, the coolest things that Apple has come up with. It's a really neat software solution to a technical challenge of how do we make the camera on the laptop better without spending a lot of money or increasing the size of the laptop itself because physically it has to fit in there, right? And you've already got the phone. This is just so good. Okay, but here's what it looks like with the iPhone. And now we're using the built-in camera on the MacBook. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but if you really want the image quality to be the best and you've already got a compatible iPhone, this accessory costs like 10 bucks and it makes it so much better. Thanks again to iFixit for sponsoring today's video. You can learn how to fix just about anything at iFixit.com. Search through thousands of free repair guides and find the high quality parts and precision tools to fix your phones, laptops, game consoles, and so much more. I just used my ultimate repair kit on customizing one of my mechanical keyboards and the driver and bits handle anything I throw at them. Thankfully, they're also backed by a lifetime guarantee. This month, you can get the ultimate repair kit for even less. You can take $10 off of $50 by using the code everyday in the link below. Okay, another really awesome tip for your MacBook. If you use your MacBook to do a lot of your texting, like I rarely use my phone throughout the day. I try to do all of my texting as I'm working from my keyboard. Now you get really cool abilities to undo edit and send text messages so check this out we will send another note over to that that gary that gary guy he's a lot of fun gary dad that he seems like a great guy so you have been able to do this on ios but now you can do it in mac os where you send a message and now you can edit or even delete that message after it goes out so you can see we can undo send I like the little animations too, where it like explodes. You can undo send or once you send it, and if they have compatible like iOS or Mac OS, like I don't believe this works when you send it to somebody with Android, you can even edit it after the fact. So editing the note after the fact. It says edited right here. I think this is great. I mean, obviously we've been talking a lot about messaging today, whether it be email or messages themselves. And I think that is so important because a lot of what I do in a day with work 
or school is collaborating with other people and being able to do that better and more professionally because I can fix my mistakes afterwards. I think this is a great addition and these are some amazing tips to use with your MacBook. <laughs> okay, and then the next really cool tip I've got for you is it's still continuity camera related, but it's probably the more useful thing for me. Sometimes I'll have my computer set up, the webcam gets everybody in, but then what do you do with the microphone if the computer's pretty far away from everybody? This sounds like a niche problem, but it happens to me all the time. You do this by going over to your system settings, you go to sound, and then you go to input. Did you, did you hear it? So it's connected here. I already had it kind of connected so I could show you what it was like. But so you go to input and then you see MacBook Pro microphone or your iPhone itself via continuity camera. You click here. Did you hear that? It did the same ding, ding, ding. Now you have your phone connected as a microphone wherever you go. I mean, look, you can still see that you're picking up the audio from me wherever I go. Audio, 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 audio. That's a real life problem that I have on a constant basis that now has a solution without me needing to bring anything else other than my MacBook and my phone. And then another really awesome trick that I'm gonna show you with your MacBook. Now you can auto translate text from pictures. So check this out. One of my favorite uh, TV shows as a kid was Dexter's Laboratory. He has a pretty famous saying of omelette du fromage. But what does that even mean? All you have to do is highlight. Like your MacBook is smart enough to know when you've got text, even if it's in a picture, you highlight the text, you right click, go over to translate, and then boom. How cool is that? It just, it's a cheese omelet. I never knew what Dexter was saying. He was saying cheese omelet, that's funny. The ability that Apple has now for video and photos to be able to pull text right out of it and then turn it into digital products. Seriously, that's very, very useful in my day-to-day -day life. But what about you? What are some of your favorite tips and tricks for the MacBook Pro? Let me know in the comments below because I would like to know all sorts of other cool stuff that we can do with this computer. And if you like this video and you wanna see some really cool accessories that you can get for your MacBook Pro, click right here, click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.